Hi, I'm from Nassau, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be uh, basically making a small guide for people with uh, that's new to this game. First off, I'm going to start with basics, settings. Uh, now, let's start with the keyboard and mouse. Alright, here. Uh, basically, all these are emotes, uh, returning to orbit, that should be pretty straightforward. Finishers are something you can do on people when they have a small um, circle on their head. Press G, at least that's a default, and then you'll do a finish run. For character here, uh, melee. Yeah, honestly, all of these should be pretty straightforward. The block, though, it's a sword. When you play a sword, you hold C, you will block, um, basically block damage. You, like, it's not like an, one, an, immune, an immunity to damage, alright? It's basically you take less damage, but you also can't run. That's the thing. Uh, the rest of this is pretty straightforward. The air move, it's, for example, uh, not this one, over here. There is this move over here called uh, Icarus Dash. Binds to X, you see? Some classes have these, mainly uh, Warlock, to, um, Solar Warlocks. They have these air moves. Basically, one's Phoenix Dive, one's Icarus Dash. Uh, if you try them out, you'll know what they are. Now, uh, there's a... Um, honestly, all, all of these UI shortcuts are pretty helpful. Just so you guys know, I put I have some of these on mouse buttons. And then... Okay, it's basically for settings, honestly. I just want to show some of that. Or the browser controls. Over here, windowed full screen. You definitely want windowed full screen. Because you can easily switch screens without having to do much. Now, uh, sound, that's all your own preference, uh, team voice channel, I, already, I always have this manually opt-in because, I mean, you could want to commun you might want to communicate with some people sometimes, so, <clears throat> here you might want to change your radical color, because it's white and it's like, can be pretty basic sometimes, uh, yeah, honestly, there's a bunch of these things, you can also look through them for yourself, now, this is going to be like a very, very basic guide. Like, you never played Destiny before. You just got on. Now I'm going to do this. I mainly am doing this to show a friend. Who uh, only knows how to do patrols, basically. Patrols are when you go into a um, planet. Basically, click click on a random one of these launch zones. And you click launch. <clears throat> you can do this with multiple places like Titan, Mars... Uh, there's, I think, three positions on IO, yep. Uh, you can do this on Mercury. Mercury's pretty small, though. And then there's Moon. Uh, Moon, which you should have to do a quest called Mysterious Disturbance to unlock, which is part of the Shadow Keep campaign. But you don't have to actually buy Shadow Keep to unlock the Moon. Uh, that's going to be the same thing with Beyond Light. Basically, you don't need to have Beyond Light to have, to have access to Europa. And that's the same thing to Tangled Shore and Dream City. You don't need Forsaken to have these things. But some of these... Okay. Content. Now, here's the thing with content. Uh, you're going to be able to see some of exotic quests from... Um, from Drifter. Uh, there's going to be some exotics that are locked to you. Like, for example, the Thorn. The Lumina, I think. I think the, I don't know. Uh, last word, Ace of Spades. Those are going to be locked to. Uh, that's not all that's going to be locked to because they're quests you get from the f basically from the Forsaken expansion. You have to buy the Forsaken expansion to be able to access these quests. That doesn't mean there's there are still some activities from Forsaken that you can still do. Now note that most of these activities will be. I mean, most of the okay. New players, your new light. That's to be what most people refer to you. And here's your character, alright? I don't think this needs to be said, but here's your character. You can switch gear. Basically, the higher light you are, the more you'll have more access to higher light activities and end game content like this. Over here, Grandmaster Nightfalls. See, I'm not high enough light because I need to be 1075 
To achieve this, you need Pinnacle Cap and plus 15 artifact bonus. Now, how the artifact works. Basically, if you gain XP from doing bounties, uh, completing activities, you'll gain XP on the Season Pass. Season Pass is basically the last entire season. Um, you can just claim some stuff here. Uh, for free-to-play players, there's going to be all this stuff on the top here. For If you bought the Season Pass for $10 or, uh, or 1,000 silver, which is basically the in-game uh, currency that you paid the game for, you can get all of this stuff. Now, uh, I personally do not own the Season Pass, even though I played a lot of this game. Uh, season Pass is definitely not something you need to achieve a lot of stuff in this game. That's what I like about it. Now, uh, you will get these artifact unlocks, alright? You only have 12 of them, alright? So once you gain enough experience for all 12, uh, you can unlock some of these mods. These mods over here are made for champions. Now, you can find champions in, uh, basically, some of because of this season, some of them are wandering around planets, but that's only for this season. Uh, you'll find them mainly, or you'll have to deal with them mainly inside of, uh, Nightfall Ordeals, which you see there's champions over here, Overload and Unstoppable. Now, these champions, uh, the reason why you'll want multiple of these mods is because those champions aren't just, like, a one-time, like, there's only Overload and Unstoppable, so it's always gonna be Overload and Unstoppable. No, that's not really true. The Nightfall's on Switch, because right now you can see, um, this week's Nightfall is called Corrupted on the Dreaming City. Now, you still need uh, Destiny 2 Forsaken, as you can see right there, to access these Nightfalls. It's stupid. So, some of these uh, things you, some of these strikes you can't really do. But, uh, here's what's up for free to play players. Alright, so basically, I had to switch color characters to see because, as you can see, Mysterious Disturbance. That's right there. I have checkpoint for that. I don't know why. Uh,. Basically, there's a thing called checkpoints. If you get uh, far further enough in the content, you die or wipe. That basically confirms you get the checkpoint. It basically leaves you right where you started before. That's only for some activities, not all of them. Uh, main, the main thing, it is for are for raids. Now, uh, raids are six-player activities with puzzle mechanics and one of the end-game content. Even though their light is 750, they're one of the end-game content in this game. Now, uh, most of these raids, like all of these in the Leviathan, they are going away. Uh, ones in Earth, Scourge of the Past, and the... Uh, oh, there's one more. Uh, one dreams, Dream City, yeah, Last Wish. Those are going away because content is getting vaulted, so the storage space will go down. That's what Destiny is doing for us. So more people can play the game, and so they have an easier time working. Now, some activities you can do that's not just patrols and stuff are is PvP, which is called the Crucible. Basically, there's Control, which is um, capture three points. And then, whoever has the most points, each kill counts for more points to win. Uh, survival, which is competitive. That's, that is competitive. We have a uh, Lockdown and Team Scorch. These changes every week. So, there are these things called Daily Reset and Weekly Reset. Daily Reset, it basically uh, changes uh, stuff they sell at the vendors. Um, it can change some activities depending on where it is. For example, the Flashpoint is called the EDC. Basically, there's going to be a heroic story here in the EDC. And... Uh, the story changes every week. That's basically gonna be what it is. Now there, there are these things called quests. If you open your director, you can hold tab to do that, and then move, press A twice. You'll see a bunch of your quests. Now these are all new light quests. You see these ones with the destiny symbol on them. Those are all new light. You see, uh, they added this really handy thing called filtering system. So basically, this just shows all of your quests. These are your shadow key quests, which I currently have none of on this character. Uh, these are playlist quests. Basically, most of them are pinnacles and most of them are seasonal strikes. You see this? Uh, I have a season 8 quest. That's embarrassing. Um, 
there's all this basically this is lumina uh pain and gain i'm not i think that one's for wrist runner an exotic basically these three are locked for most people unless you bought the uh expansions which is a dlc forsaken or shadow key now i just gonna be talk i uh, mainly be talking about what's locked is some people don't know these military over here you can see i can switch it out but that's because i bought shadow keep and forsaken if you don't have the if you didn't buy them you cannot access them because they came out at that time i think it's gonna be the same thing for beyond light if you don't didn't buy the expansion you can't access the new subclass that's gonna come out now over here so say the past which is everything that happened before there's gonna be black armory i'll go to that in a few in a bit but first let's mainly talk about this this is legacy content it's basically a they remove those it's basically content for that was like here before uh before the game was free people had to pay for this people had to pay like um you used to the tutorials to be the first mission of the red war that's how it was uh same thing for warmind uh it was like more like a just extra content they added they added the extra content uh it's first it's red war curse of Osiris, and then warmind if you want to play in that specific order now artifact bonus each time you earn xp as you can see next power bonus it'll say right there how much xp it takes for you to gain at one extra light you always want to do the artifact there's going to be a mission to get the artifact. Uh, this week's mission is called the Shadow Overhead. That's how you get the artifact. I currently have not done that because I didn't need to do this since I already done my Warlock. Now, if you look over here, there's gonna, the campaigns are going to be in certain places. There's going to be symbols over here, as you can see. Now, these symbols are going to be very, um, are mainly guides to see what you have here. If you can see, I have multiple places where I need to talk. There's like a quest. There's two quests over here. And there's a Master of Hole, which I can get something from him. And Warmind. I mean, Red War. Red War starts here. It'll even say how many people can access this campaign. Now, over here, you can see where all the vendors are, what they do basically. Uh, Chief Shipwright, Postmaster, Eververse, basically all that stuff. Uh, you might want to visit all of them when you first start the game. Just to check out what they have for you. Sometimes they won't have anything. I, go, I like Akora Ray who has been pretty useless since um, season 8. Now, uh, basically there's going to be all these patrol zones. You can see this, Exos Black. I can basically go go around, do these quests. Uh, the main point of the game is to complete quests, gain loot. Now, loot. For loot, there's going to be these weapons called exotics. You cannot have more than one exotic on at once all right armor exotic that counts as armor exotic all right you can't have two armor exotics at the same time you can't have two weapon exotics on at the same time and if they're cosmetic exotics then like ghost shells they aren't exactly cosmetic since they have special perks on them as you can see but um there's also sparrows you can put all those exotics on your arm all the ex exotics you want on as much as you like and the game won't really do anything to it won't really say anything about because i mean do you some people pay for these cosmetics now there is, if you want to buy stuff in the shop mainly all of this is like silver shop and stuff but you can get bright dust now bright dust you mainly get bright dust from season pa one season pass two from uh, weekly bounties from Zabala, who's in charge of strikes, uh, Shax, who's in charge of Crucible, and Drifter, who's in charge of Gambit. Now, Gambit is a very unique concept from Destiny. It's a PvEVP game mode where um, it's player versus enemy versus player. Basically, there's going to be a whole tutorial to do it, so you guys can all go look up, look that up on your own. And uh, there's going to be this thing called changing characters. Basically, each character. Uh, you can have multiple warlocks or anything, but it's nice to have one of each, just so you can access all of them if uh, you need them for a raid or something. Since some uh, characters may be better for a raid than others. Now, uh, you have to know that you can transfer weapons around. Now, I want to mention this thing called a. Uh, 
I want to mention this thing called dim. It's like you can access your vault. Now let me change the display capture. Basically, this is what dim is. It's Destiny Egg Manager. Just look that up. And basically, it's there. It's the first thing that pops up. Now, what you can do here is... Uh, it's going to be loading a little bit slow, so I'm going to move to a few things first. Basically, there's this thing called uh, Collections you can access. You can see there's... um. These are triumphs. These are not collections. This is triumphs. Basically, there's going to be these uh, little objectives you can complete. These are lore books you collect. It's really cool because you can read the story behind the game. Now, there are these, like, see? All of these, uh, little challenges you can complete. Now, you can see your triumph score here. This, the triumph score I have right now is counts as pretty high. So I have, like, 1,595 hours in the game. And then, these are titles, or seals. Basically, what seals do is, they give you, a uh, they give you, like, a better... Like, they, they're basically, like, the top achievements you can get in this game. They're, like, the hardest content to do because it's not just one thing you have to do. You have to complete multiple objectives for just one, to do one of these. Now, I personally do not think you can get a seal. Wait, no, you can't get a seal without doing, um, without owning Season Pass or DLC. Basically, you can get, uh, you can get... Flawless, I think. I'm pretty sure you can get flawless. You can get a. Uh, uh, you can go ahead and get. Unbroken. Those are all PvP ones. Uh, I don't think you can get dredging since you need a weapon malfeasance for that. And that's a forsaken gun. I think that's it. Yeah, you can only get PvP titles from this game if you're free to play. Now, really, that's pretty much gonna be most of that just there's also like a few things called collections uh these collections over here they're basically badges collection badges to see what you've completed if they're great a little grayed out then that means you haven't finished the entire badge if they have a borderline run then you need to complete them for all three characters all three classes if uh if they're not grayed out that means you complete it for one i'm not sure what it means if you complete it for two honestly no idea It'll probably just not say anything. Uh, now, over here, exhaustion, pull them out. You can pull some of these weapons out of your inventory. This is pretty important to know um, because you might not always have something in your inventory and you might want to use them. Now, what them does, uh, my, why do I have two thorns? I do not want two thorns. I can bring this one from my inventory to my warlock. Just like that, it's there. And what I do, I can dismantle it because I do not want it. Since I already have some, since I pulled a thorn out of my collections before, th thorn out of my collections before, and then uh, I left the one in my inventory. In my inventory. Now, what's also nice is you can collect things from Postmaster. Now, uh, let's quickly go to the Postmaster. Now, while we're loading up. Uh, there are these things in this game called shaders. What shaders does is it basically changes the color of your armor and of your weapons. Uh, any armor can have shaders. Exotic weapons, however, cannot have shaders. They have these things called ornaments. Now, basically what ornaments do is it changes the look of the exotic weapon completely. So, so you see, this is what Aerodon's Vow used to look like without the four-way ornament. But, put it on, looks like this. You can get ornaments from bright engrams, which are basically, this season's called a mnemonic engram. You can see you can get a bunch of Everest cosmetics from it. Wow, this is an ugly ghost shell. Uh, basically, you can get a bunch of these stuff from it. Ornaments are basically going to be the things which you want the most from. Now, let's go to Postmaster real quick. Basically, the Postmaster, Postmaster has things that you drop, like... Let's say there's a blue engram, basically a rare engram, a rare engram, uh, mentioned mostly as blues in this game. Now, what's gonna mainly happen here is, um, the blue engram, you don't collect it, you return orbit, you just leave it there. What the post, the postmaster is gonna have the blue that you can take from, 
Now, I do not have enough space for enhancement prisms because I'm full on that. So whenever I try to, whenever I get more, it'll go straight to my postmaster because I have no more space for it. Now, uh, like I said, daily reset, basically it's what it's going to do. It's going to change what uh, this vendor sells. It's going to uh, change what they sell, it's going to change what they have. It's going to change a lot of that. Now, it will also change what their daily bounties include. Uh, because of this. But however, the daily bounties you currently have will not expire. So there are going to be all these vendors here. They, you can also get uh, these things called Pinnacle Quests, which th they end up in your playlist basically. Um, this is a pinnacle. This is one of the harder ones to get because you have to reach, like, basically get the highest. Yeah, basically, you have to be really good at PvP. That's basically what it is. But, um, you can see that you get bright dust from these weekly challenges. But you, I always collect them because, you know, bright dust, free cosmetics. Who wouldn't want them? You know? And then there's all these, which change daily. Now, if we go over. Oh, by the way, weekly weekly bounties, you can uh, assume that they expire in, like, you know, a week and stuff. Um, now, if we go over to... Uh, let's go to Hawthorne. Basically, you can run, but you, you, there's also this thing called Fast Travel. Basically, if you're on that place, or in the location that your, your map says you're on, you hold left-click here, you can Fast Travel there, alright? Now, if I come over here, uh, you see there's this person called Hawthorne. Hawthorne is not a guardian lore-wise, just so you know. Uh, I'm taking sure we can just take the stairs down there. But, um, over here. Hawthorne, basically, she gives you all these clan bounties, raid challenges, which I'm not sure what those are. I'm not sure what those are. Raid banners. Basically, raid banners are uh, things you put in a raid. And what they do is give your super and give you like max ammo and everything. You can also collect these clam engrams. And then um your shares end up here. If you want to get rid of them, just dismantle. I do not have any blue shares on because they waste a lot of my space. But um basically this is where all your engrams go, by the way, in your inventory. Or you're gonna have like a bunch of other junk here. Honestly. Uh some of the those might be lore things. You can you can dismantle them if you want. But, uh, if we fast travel here, oh, okay, by the way, this season there's a dungeon called Prophecy. You can do that dungeon for, um, loot, but it's a extremely in-game activity. Uh, trust me, if you are not 1040 light, you do not want to go there. Now, over here, there's, uh, this guy called Benedict9940. He's, uh, Benedict is basically someone that is, uh, someone from the leviathan now someone's gear over here it's 750 light it's not the highest i still have like a bunch of 750 like gear in my in like in my vault i think i should explain that next but um in my vault it's just so like i want i can go like extremely low light if i want to for like any cheese or something or just you know to have fun or give myself a challenge have you come up here uh, usually there's only just Shrifter, but this season there's like a bunch of other people. Hold on, I want this one. There. Um, there's a, uh, recaster. Basically you get like a quest for all that, um, tell you, telling you all this is. Uh, you just complete those quests. Honestly, just complete quests and you'll start gaining a better understanding of what to do. Now, if you don't know where to go for quests, you can always click over here. Left click this and it'll track it. Now, if you track it, it'll show you where to go on destinations and it'll basically be glow green honestly i feel like it's a lot better than destiny one tracking system because i have no idea where to go half the time and it's so confusing because some things are just glowing green but they're not supposed to be and then uh over here just a black armory basically we can go to forge some cool I new weapons you have basically need a ballistics log to get this uh but there's gonna be a tutorial for that too when you first start the game now uh Let's talk about the vault. You see, if you, if we look back over here on them, this is gonna be our vault. This is gonna be what's in our other characters. 
basically since you have a lot of stuff in my vault. I don't ask me why I have that many stuff in my vault. Oh wait, just the just thing I have. I am the hoarder. I will clean now at one point. Just not now. Now if we look over here, you can see there's like um I store a bunch of my exotics here, which most people don't store exotic weapons because you just pull them out from collections. I do not do that. I just have everything in my vault. Now, you can see I have some of this stubborn oak and uh, Kvostov in my, because you're 750 like you. I would like to keep that, since you cannot, you cannot go any lower. Like, you, you are incapable of going any lower, like, from pulling things out of collections. Unless you use the leveling arm over here, which is uh, Dreamer's Bond. That's basically it. Now, there's also this thing called uh, Masquerader's Hood. Let me see if I can find it in my vault. Here, basically this is your life because it's an event thing. Uh, this item grants a benefit to power only during the Festival of Loss, which is basically Halloween. Now, you can also store a bunch of armor here. This is, this is where I store most of my weapons. That's a lot. Why do I have so many negative spaces? What the, what the heck? Uh, uh, okay. Now, basically, it's just only a max of 500. I'm slowly getting there to 500. I should not be getting there, but I am. Now, there's... I should also explain this thing called sun setting. Basically, um... Sun... There's gonna be this thing called sun setting that's gonna come out soon. Basically, anything from... Uh... Pre anything that's not from previous seasons... Of Shadowkeep, except for a season of Undying... It's gonna... Everything's gonna be gone, except for exotics. Basically, you can't, you can't infuse them. What you can do now is, you can take this, alright? You can hover over this, and then you can basically dismantle for infusion. What this does is, basically, it changes the light from this light to wherever the light you're dismantling for infusion. Like, this would go from 1006 to 1060, and it only takes an upgrade module. You can buy upgrade modules from Banshee using destination materials, um, enhancement cores, I think, and legendary shards. Legendary shards you get from dismantling legendaries. Uh, glimmer is just something you'll get overall over through like uh, killing an enemy, you get like a certain amount of glimmer. Glimmer is actually pretty easy to stack up, and 250,000 is the max. Uh, Hawthorne earlier, he, he sells 10 raid banners for 50k glimmer. Now, if you're full on glimmer, you can always go ahead and just buy that real quick. That's what um, I do. And, uh, yeah, basically, that's, this is really just a beginner's guide. Uh, it's not gonna be everything, though, that's definitely not everything. Uh, strike scam, this is just gonna be here for now, alright? But it never used to be here, but that's just there. Now, I was just talking about, how would you know you're something on, if something's sunset or not? Now, uh, one of the easier ways to know is, come over here, go to the light.gg. Light.gg basically includes a bunch of Destiny stuff. It's basically a database. So you can see all the new exotics, new Umbral Engrams, all that stuff. Uh, you can see what's sunsetting and when the pool, like what's not getting sunset later on. Now these are basically what's like pretty uh, popular weapons right now, all that stuff. And um, yeah, that's going to be showing like rewards and stuff, emblems, moments of triumph. Uh, you're not gonna get most of those, but you're gonna, like, you can look through all of this stuff over here, all the gear. Uh, it's, it can be so pretty interesting sounds to do. Now, if I'm not wrong, there's also another way to check if something's sunsetting or not. Now, this, the main annoying thing is, hold on, let's explain this first. Basically, anything with... That's not of this circle and triangle. Circle with the triangle in it. This is Season of Arrivals. Uh, anything not with this thing, which is called... Uh, which is Season of Warmind. And um, anything that's not... Let me look for other one. Uh, other one is not very easy to find. At least in my gear. Oh wait, no, okay. Anything that's not... Uh... This, which is Season of Dawn. That's basically what it is. Now, this is not 
very like this is kind of this reminded me before basically you see like that's what the symbol is so you put this on the symbol changes these are ornaments armor ornaments basically the same thing as exotic ornaments you change the entire look of the helmet you can see i can put um that ornament on that and i can also put that on this that's basically what ornament armor ornaments for you now if they're exotics you cannot ch like just change it how to how it looks uh winter's god isn't a very good example because you s it looks the same but if you look over here the ice that's basically just gets ice now armor ornaments uh yeah they change the entire look but exotic armor ornaments only changes like for that one thing they don't change it for everything you know now uh, those ornaments can be bought in the Bright Dust Shop. Uh, I hope I'm, I hope I'm covering a lot of information. I should be. Uh, now, basically, engrams you mainly decode from Master Who, but this season, uh, it's different. You can go ahead and uh, decipher engrams from the Dark Decoder over here. It's basically where you get all your umbral engrams. Now, uh, basically, if you're new light, you want to slowly get up gear. Get gear. A uh, easier way to do that is through Crucible. Basically, Crucible gives you like three pieces of gear, around three pieces of gear, every time you complete a match. Now, uh, main those are mainly gonna be blue gear, but uh, you all start getting higher light um, weapons over time. Now, you want exotics. How do you get them? Exotics, they, you mainly will get, be able to get them from, uh, quests, like I said, quests, some of them are world drops, you can see source and exotic quest challenge, that's the request, source exotic engrams, extremely rare world drops, that's also what it is, there's also this guy called Zer, he appears, uh, every Friday at 1, 1 p.m. EST, now, why exactly at the time? Because that's daily reset. Uh, daily reset, I already explained what it is. Weekly reset. Now, weekly reset's more important for most people. Basically, uh, come over here. Uh, you can see your strikes completed. That's for pinnacle gear. If I finish this challenge, I'll get pinnacle gear. I'll explain what that is later, but I get pinnacle gear, and uh, that's going to raise my light. That's like that's just gonna be gone. The challenge is gonna be gone afterwards. And once weekly reset hits, all the challenges are gonna come back. So you can keep redoing the. That's the power grind of destiny. You want to get higher light. And uh, basically, this season, uh, power limits 1060. That's like that's the power cap, hard cap, as you can see. You could say, uh, basically people are gonna say base light, and just your regular light with artifact. So you can see my base light right here, it says 1058 gear. That means my base light is 1058. Now I can raise that if I wanted to. Uh, it'll go higher. It, but the reason why it's so hard to go up after 10, basically after a certain point, I forgot which it was, I think it was 950. Uh, you can only start getting higher light using prime engrams, basically powerful gear. Uh, powerful gear you can also get from some of these challenges. You check over here you can get it from these that's powerful gear it's tier one basically you cancel the light now you want to power grind correctly you start with the tier one ones then go tier two and then all oh, you do pentacles now uh this is going to be a little confusing for some people but you'll get the hang of it when you first uh when you start doing it now 1050 is soft cap which is at which point which powerfuls cannot get you any higher light that's what pinnacles are for pinnacles basically like bring your hot light up a lot now it starts it stops being a lot once you reach 1050 uh like i said i can like i'm 1059 okay none of my gear are 1060 or if i put if i put this on it'll be 1060 but you can see all this is 1060 except for one piece of gear that's stopping me from being 1060 base really annoying but that's usually how it works. Oh, so you're having to keep grinding pinnacles, hope RNG blesses you, and you get a heavy weapon. That's gonna be how it is. And uh, heavy weapons are dumb to get for pinnacles, just so you guys know. Now, 
Uh, the views in this game are great. Like, you should just summons take a ton, stop them, admire them. Now, uh, while you're running, your character will look better than me. It's maybe because I have field of view turned on to... Where is it? I think it's in gameplay. No, it's not. Uh, field of view, field of view. I have no idea where it is because I'm not very smart. Uh, field of view to max. Yeah, it's in big. I did that so I should. I look like I'm running faster than you guys, but I'm not. Now, uh, these exotics, they have special perks on them. Uh, basically, there are armor perks. Uh, you can see transfer steps here. Sprint speed increased after a short time sprinting. Your currently weapons are automatically reloaded. That's why they can only have one exotic on at once because if you have like just a bunch of things on exotics on at once, you'll basically be the most overpowered person ever. Now, if we look over here, uh, the first things I would like to acknowledge is what exotic you should get. Exotic. There's this weapon called the Whisper. Click on it. Uh, there's gonna be two difficulties you can do: the Whisper and the Whisper Hero. You can't ask back. You can't ask access the whisper hero until you get um until you get like uh until you get the whisper of the worm now the whisper normal if you complete this you get the whisper of the worm uh i would not recommend you do it by yourself now you're you play alone you have no friends that sucks and it sounds really bad but uh what are you gonna do well there are these things called lfg uh basically there's this uh place Call this into PC LG on uh, if that's if you're mainly a PC player for uh, for Discord. Yes, Discord. Ma most people use that. It's like one of the biggest Discord servers ever. Now, uh, hold on. I must sign into Steam for this next part. Uh. I, yeah, I shouldn't be able to see this. Okay, that's good. Now, basically, if we come over here to Bungie.net, Bungie.net is uh, the basically the like Bungie are the people who created Destiny. I can see you can buy stuff, you buy like a bunch of content here. You can see there's play for free over here and you can see there's seasons community now community uh there's a clan thing you can have clan thing are basically it's basically what hot the ones for oh we changed raid mass that's one of them you know basically my clan is called vengeance supply you're welcome to join if you really want to if uh but be warned if you're not extremely active like you're not active like you haven't played for like five months for something like that you will be uh kicked from the clan that's gonna be how it is but by which point you shouldn't probably care there is this thing called fine fire team lg means looking for group by the way you know what to do means is kwtd see that's not what to do uh they'll mainly have like all this stuff you should learn them slowly uh, you can see people are looking for heroic whisper scourge kill this is mainly like the main database but people sometimes don't use discord here so there's that now if we come over here and move away from our clan discord you see there's um destiny 2 pclg there's all this stuff i'll i'll leave the invite in the down below if you guys really want it now uh, this is where go, what i go to for most of my stuff because you know they have these raid rooms they have these vcs all of that but it, it, because it is one of the biggest Discord communities, it is extremely laggy. So there's always that. Now, uh, you can always look some of the stuff up. There's uh, all of that stuff. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments. I'll answer them. Like I'll answer your questions immediately. So this is just a basic guide to get you started on Destiny. Uh, you want to talk about loot or something like that, like loot, uh, pentacles like these, they have these special perks, master of arms, micro missile, those are their own special perks, that's pentacles, uh, just to really explain this first, uh, basically there's gonna be this, basically energy, 
Now, what you can do with this energy is you can see I, play, I can put mods on it. But some of these mods take 5 energy. I do not have that, so I can just straight up upgrade this and put energy on it. Now, uh, exotics, I can also do this, but it takes more. It takes better, like, it takes more uh, materials to actually upgrade energy since they're exotics. Now, you can see over here, this is a master working, like, when you reach 10 energy, you masterworked your um, armor. Basically, what the armor does is, uh, it basically just boosts all of your regular stats. Now, if you check over here, these are your stats, mobility, resilience, recovery, discipline, intellect, and strength. Now, you can set up, um, 1013, what the heck? Why do why do I don't need 113 recovery? Um, yeah, basically it maxes out after 100, so you don't need extra. Um, I can take off. That means I can take off one of these mods and put them on, put them on something else. Uh, I mainly have a recovery, mobility, intellect focused kind of thing. Like I, I go for main. I don't like try to go for resilience, but that's just high because some of my armor does roll high with resilience. Um. Basically, arm armor rolls. That's pretty important. Uh, you can see this over here. It's got ow, wow. That's horrible gloves. Uh, you can see there's like uh, their own special rolls. Everyone, every armor piece has a different roll. Now weapons, they have different rolls too. Over here, not only hunger. You can see my arsenic bite has Ar dragonfly archer's tempo. That means not. That doesn't mean you're always gonna get dragonfly archer's tempo. Over here, you can also put special mods now that takes no energy for the weapon. Uh, they do special certain things. You can look what they do. You you can get these mods from Banshee. And how to get mods? You can get mod components. You can even buy them from Auto One. Oh, I should talk about this. Uh, basically, when you're buying something, oh, not there. There's gonna be two pages in a vendor. Uh. This vendor over here, let's see, Shax, he should, really, really, okay, so I know Zavala does, I know, I, yeah, 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 he probably, okay, this is, there's two pages, really, oh my, but, okay, you know what, if you talk to Zavala, uh, over here, up there, there should be, like, two pages, um, over here, there's a one and a two, just click one and two to scroll through those, and see what they offer, and then, uh, Basically, I masterwork all my armor. Masterworking takes this thing called ascendant shards. Ascendant shards are not very easy to get. Uh, you can get them mainly from nightfalls, or you come over here and you can buy them from Banshee. Now, Banshee, you need enhancement prisms. You can just get these from enhancement cores and stuff, and destination materials. Now, uh, if we check over here in the Vanguard, you can see we can get like certain gear. Over here you can get exotic gear, you see all that stuff, what you can get the rewards from. It's always nice to check those out. Uh, some of those are pretty hard to do though. And then uh, you'll, you'll start learning about them more. If you have any questions about it, like I said, leave in the comments. I'll answer it right away. Now, uh, all these ghost shells, they have special perks. They do different things. They don't really help you in battle much. But they do um, help you in other cases. Now, I I do have a bunch of these weapons like the Durium. Uh, if they have a gold board around them, they have mass. They get mass work. Basically, what mass working does, max it maximizes its stats, which you can see. There's a little gold line over here on stability. And then it also it also gets a kill tracker, and uh, you can generate orbs. What orbs do is, if you pick them up, it charges you super faster. Uh, you guys should know what that is. If you did the tutorial, now. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory, but uh, if you basically ten, yeah, base stats. But uh, if you want higher roll on, like let's say this, like I, I want a recovery build. That recovery has two, which is the lowest it can get. I don't want that, so I'm gonna have to keep farming for over and over again until I get the roll I want. That's called getting good rolls, kind of. I don't, I don't know the exact term for it, but uh, it's got high, extremely high mobility, so that's always really nice to have. Um, but it's got no recovery, which would bring my recovery down by a lot. Now, uh, there's these, there are these things called our, um, seasonal armor mods. You can see this helmets from Season of Dawn. So it's mainly going to have these Season of Dawn or Shadow Keep things. 
Now, if you check the all basically all of these mods are the same, but there's gonna be different energies. You can see this is arc. So I can put arc mods on here. If I look in that's why do I have so many arc bonds? Over here, you can see the mods are gonna be different. Now uh you can see over here these mods. Why would I master with two bonds? Bonds don't give you anything. You can just put a recovery mod and just give you extra recovery. That's it. Now, the reason why I master with these two different bonds here I have Lucent Blade. Uh you can see there's Lucent Blade. That's a mod I really want. It's a great mod. You can get that from a prismatic recaster. Over here there is not Lucent Blade. That's because that mod is from Season of Rivals. This is Season of Rivals mod. This is a season of undying mod, which is season eight, it's gonna get sunset. So I wanted something better. So then I took that. Now these are these artifact mods. You can put on you can see all of this stuff, uh anti bear weapons. Basically come over here. There we go. Anti bear weapons. There it is. Those go through shields. Not all shields, but those go through most shields. Now if we look over here, the press of darkness adds extra damage. That's like one of the best mods we have so far. Honestly, yes, that's gonna be ma mainly everything. Mainly everything. Uh mass working uh exotics kinda hard to do. So you wanna do it if you have a good wool weapon. If you don't have a good wool weapon you don't wanna do it. Alright. Uh, that's just something you do not want to do because you can see this this was not a good rule because you get plus 12 uh, usually if i take um these rec mods recovery mods they give you plus 10 recovery or just any other mod they give you plus 10. now if you check look at this it's 80. if you do the math you minus it by 12 and you minus it by 10. that's gonna be below 60. good armor rolls you are usually above 60 and they um, fo mainly focus on the stat you want. That's gonna be loot. Now, weapon mods. We weapons are gonna be different. You can see I have a dynamic sword reduction multi kill clip. Forward path. Forward path doesn't mean like an iron banner weapon. Um, iron banner comes around every once in a while. Basically, you get quests from Lord Saladin and Tinnacle. Tinnacle's Lord Saladin basically appears over there, right where my head, right where my like little horns are. Um, Basically, yeah, that's it. You get special rolls. Some of them could be good. Some of them can, could be not so good. Uh, pinnacles, they come with set rolls, but they're usually really good weapons. That's why they're in Sunset, is they don't bungee wants to change the loot pool. Make it, like, you know, a little more flexible and stuff. Now, uh, I like this roll, so I masterworked it. That's what happens, and I gave it better handling. Now, uh, that's going to be what it is with most of your weapons. If it's a good roll, you keep it. You use it if it's not a good roll then you don't keep it and you don't use it uh if you want to know about any other things that's i think that's gonna be it for really this guide it's like a lot of information it's like 40 minutes long a lot of information but hope you uh hope you enjoyed it it's took a bit of time to make and i kind of just explained what whatever's on top of my head right now so yeah Anyway guys, this is me for this video. Hope you enjoyed, like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, check out my social media in the description down below. I say the outro so fast that means that people can't even understand. Anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna see you. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.